So, there aren't a whole lot of uh, YouTube video reviews on this baby. This is the Laundry Alternatives Niagara Space Saving Washer with Extra Large Capacity Heavy Duty. Uh, for a compact washer, it actually does have a surprising capacity. Um, I would say you could easily put a queen size comforter in this, and uh, it would be able to hold it. Uh, not with anything else, but it would be able to hold it. Uh, if you need a size comparison, here is my full-size electric dryer right next to it. Here's my old washer that kicked the bucket. Uh, this wasn't a super risk for me. I've actually purchased laundry alternative products before. Granted, it was 14 years ago. And guess what I still have? Their original spin dryer. Not the new Ninja. This is their original from 14 years ago when I had my first apartment. And I didn't have any washer hookups, so I bought their spin dryer and their original Wonder Wash. And this is the one with the screw top. That's how old it is. Um, but both are still working. I'm still using the spin dryer, courtesy of purchasing this. And the reason for that is because this does not have a spin cycle. It very much will do everything else, however. So you're probably wondering, okay, well, how much will it hold? Well, I happen to have... A laundry basket here, <clears throat> and I'll identify each item as I throw it in, so you can get an idea. Uh, coincidentally, from what I can tell, this is the exact same unit as the Dreen 096A family washer that is very popular in uh, Argentina and South America. Um, a lot of Europe uses washers like this that, again, don't have a spin cycle. That seems to be something that is very prominent here in the United States and Canada. Um, but I'll be honest, I actually prefer using the spin dryer and then after running the spin cycle there, throw it into the electric dryer, uh, my electric dryer from 1982. <laughs> That's still working, I might add. Uh, and I just set it on the less dry setting, and one run is enough to do it. Uh, for the record, I did, when I first got this, and I ran a first full load through it, just threw it straight into the dryer to see if it uh, would be able to handle it. Uh, if you want to do it that way, you can, but be prepared to run two dryer cycles if you don't run a spin cycle. And frankly speaking, putting... Uh, clothes like that into a dryer that wet is usually not a good idea. The other advantage of the spin dryer, and now their Ninja spin dryer, which believe me, I'm sorely tempted to get, but since my old original spin dryer is working, even though it doesn't have all the unique hydraulics that make it basically auto-level itself, yeah, you have to sort of be careful about how you disperse laundry in there. Uh, courtesy of that, it's still working, it still works fine. Um... I will say this, this is a lesson that I had to learn the uh, extreme hard way, and it's a horror story, let me tell you about it. It's not Laundry Alternatives' fault, it's actually something that is in the user manual, and that is that if, and you'll notice how I've t literally taped the hose to the, uh, I'm not even sure what you would call that, that curve plastic bracket thing. And you'll also notice I have suspended it on uh, something to make sure it never, ever falls over. And there's a very good reason for that. And that is, if that hose falls below the top level of this washer, you'll start to get a siphon effect. Basically meaning it will get locked in a loop where it is constantly, once it hits the rinse cycle, emptying water and refilling and emptying water and refilling i kid you not in one night uh had over two thousand gallons of water use uh but that that was on me that's not their fault um but needless to say when you if you decide to get this unit make sure that that drain hose is set up to where it, it will never fall below the level top level of the washer that is very important also, if you're going to use traditional washer hookups like I do, 
you are going to need a Y adapter, something that hooks up to both cold and hot, because this only has one water inlet. Now, I'm not using the uh, I'm not using the water line that came with it. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but I mean, when you've got a, a super high end uh, washer hookup like this, and I've got three more just like it, um, why would you? Uh, according to uh, Laundry Alternatives website, Q&A, this is rated to handle hot water. Um, however, I do not like to wash my loads in hot water. I prefer to use warm water on the wash and the rinse. Uh, and yes, it will automatically stop. Uh, and whatever you do, make sure that this is on the off position before you turn it on, because if you turn it on with it on a setting, and you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about, the top loader will start to try to move, and trust me, you don't want that. So, yes, this is uh, basically a front loader design that just happens to load from the top. Now, I'm sure if you're looking at this, you've probably seen this before, but for the sake of argument, let's go ahead, lift up the lid, and for the record, this will not run if you lift up the lid. The hinge has a sensor in it to where if it lifts up even a little, the whole thing will stop. It will resume when you close it, but it will stop when you lift it. So anyway, this is the top, uh, and it's super easy to open, just like that. And you can see I've, I've got some, uh, some clothes in there. So let's just go ahead and take those out and put them in the spin dryer from the laundry alternative. And no, these guys aren't paying me. I don't receive any gratuities from them. But when I see a machine or a company that makes something that lasts for 14 years, let alone two things that last for 14 years, and yes, that still works, no leaks, no problems. And when this failed, I had to go back to using that for about a month before uh, I ultimately decided on this washer. Uh, for the record, you could literally buy two of these. And a new Ninja spin dryer for cheaper than you can buy the most basic new washer. Just something to consider, and these use only a fourth of the water that these do, and much less power, I might add. So it's just something to think about. And they're very compact. You could easily, you know, put two of these side by side if you wanted the extra capacity. But as you can see, the capacity is pretty good, and I'm about to, you know, put these in there and identify them. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got uh, a pair of my pajama pants, my fleece pajama pants. There they go. One long sleeve, thick cotton shirt. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. By the way, I'm, I'm six foot five and weigh 250 pounds and wear a double XL uh, tall in my clothes to give you some idea of how big these are. Uh, short sleeve polo shirt. Another pair of fleece pajama pants. And you don't really want to pack them down in there. You just want to sort of move them so that they level out. Uh, this is a long sleeve shirt with a short sleeve shirt inside of it. So two shirts. Oh, look, we still have plenty of room. And another polo shirt. And guess what? I'm pretty sure I could easily fit mm, two more shirts in there. But for the time being, let's just do the one. This is very simple to do. Move this side down. Move this side down. Voila. Latched. Now, uh, I will say that Laundry Alternative recommends that you only use high efficiency detergent. It can be liquid or powder. It doesn't matter which. It uh, goes in here. Uh, basically, from what I can tell, really, it's just a hole in the side that makes it leak down to the bottom. But that's fine. Uh, so, let's go ahead. I've got some top-of-the-line Walmart high-efficiency detergent. 
here's the other nice thing about that had to handle a family situation anyway um so let's go ahead and as i was saying one of the advantages with this machine i've found is that you don't need to use the full cup you uh go ahead and just do about half a cup and that'll be more than sufficient for a full load which is more or less what's in there like i said there's room for a little bit more but i think this will be fine so you literally just dump it on in there I'm a cheapskate, so of course I'm getting every last drop. Obviously I'm a cheapskate because I bought uh, this $239 washer instead of a new full-size model. But I'll tell you right now, uh, the clothes come out of this perf not just perfectly clean, but a lot cleaner than the standard washer uh, that I had, and even the one before this. For the record, this is the second standard washer I've had this year. Uh, not to mention, uh, we've had several clothes come out of these agitator style, uh, washers that they just get chewed up, tear up the fabric. This is a lot more gentle because it's a tumble wash. Um, and it does work really well. I've literally, uh, had this for, uh, about, I don't know, two weeks now. I wanted to make sure that I ran it through its paces before I did a review on it. Um. Uh, so, uh, we've got the detergent in there, but it also has a fabric softener dispenser for its fabric softener cycle. Uh, I just got some uh, Suavitel, but again, high efficiency. So, let's go ahead and do that. And another nice thing, you don't need all that much fabric softener. That's it. That's all you need. So we'll take that over into the dispenser. And this actually is a true dispenser. You can see the water valve there. It'll shoot up in there and then drain the water down in order to wash the clothes. So now the clothes are in. It's a mostly full load. We close it. Water's already on. Now, if you have heavily soiled, like super heavily soiled clothes, yeah, use the super heavy duty. If you run it from there, it's going to be about 56 minutes from beginning to end. From here, I think it's in the low 40s. Uh, for these clothes, they're, uh, they're not too soiled, so I usually resort to the normal economy mode, which is right here. Uh... I have put heavily soiled clothes through it, come out just fine, but these don't really need that. Just push the button. And if you guys are worried about the uh, water on the floor, please, that's not the washer. Uh, and this is a horror show for you, but uh, that's my old, 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 and needs to be replaced soon electric water tank. Yeah, not pretty. You can see I've basically done everything I can to keep it going because again I'm a cheapskate uh, it has a very 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 small leak but it's enough to put some water on the floor in this corner of the room not enough to show up on my water bill which is why I still have it and because of the stupid epidemic my hours at work have been cut so got to do everything I can to save money and uh, if you want to save money on a washer uh, I definitely uh, recommend this bad boy, but you can hear the water flowing and just to demonstrate my point Listen, I Got it that high before it stopped When I put it back down, it'll resume There you go So now it's filling uh, It's a fairly quiet unit if that matters to you. Uh, obviously, this is in the uh, laundry portion of my basement uh, so it really wouldn't matter to me because I wouldn't be able to hear it otherwise. Uh, in case you're wondering, no, there's no buzzer or dinger to indicate it's done. It'll just end. But if you know how long it runs, you know when to check up on it. Uh, cord is perfectly sufficient to go all the way up. And yeah, that's my little bag for uh, the lint filter in my dryer. I save it because I use it as fire starters in my fireplace because, again, I'm cheap. 
so there we go there it is running as you can hear an initial rattle from the momentum but after that nice and quiet you can hear it churning that's about it it's driven by a big belt wheel in the back um you know like in a car with pulleys it's just a big metal wheel driven by a belt attached to the motor um so yeah uh so far gotta say i'm fairly impressed like i said uh shortcomings are no spin cycle but to me that's not that important and um like I said, this is uh, pretty much the same thing as the Dream brand in Argentina, the 096A family model. And they have literally been using this design for over a decade. And people there have had these for, de for over a decade, and they're still running just fine. Uh, also, after taking a look at it, it looks like it would be uh, fairly simple to work on if you needed to. But... Um, and I've spoken with some of the guys uh, in their engineering department who uh, have come to uh, basically uh, get their expertise up on this particular model. Uh, they've informed me that they actually use some very special bearings uh, in the motor for this that are designed to last uh, well over 10 years. The unit itself has a three-year warranty, which is perfectly acceptable. Um, all in all, the whole thing weighs about 36 pounds, I think, when it's empty. Uh, so if you're living in a place that doesn't have uh, laundry uh, hookups, good news, there, the unit comes with an adapter that allows you to hook it up to a sink. Uh, believe it or not, my washing machine, or my dishwashing machine uses a similar adapter up in my kitchen because my house didn't come with a, a dishwasher. So I had to buy an individual washer that I hook up to the sink, so... Uh, it's not that big a deal. It works well. Like I said, their spin dryer, 14 years later, still working. Their Wonder Wash, 14 years later, still working. And all by the laundry alternative. Even this bad boy. Yeah. So, um... I don't have any special rating system, but if you're asking me if I approve of this, I do. I actually endorse this. It is a, a great option. If you're looking to get a new washer, save some money. And, and for the record, their new Ninja Spin Dryer, which actually has even more capacity than that, and has hydraulics to help auto-level it so that you aren't having to work as hard to level the laundry out. Uh, if you were to buy this and that, this is $239, or at least it was for me. If you can get it cheaper, great. Um, their new Ninja, I think, is about $139 or $149, one of those two. But even combined, that's still cheaper than a, the lowest end standard agitator washer. So just something to think about. And if you need extra capacity now, I know there's a glitch or a... Uh, misinformation on their website that indicates that this has seven cubic feet of capacity. No, it doesn't. It does not. Um, if I had to ballpark it, I'd say this is about three cubic feet, but it's enough to wash a queen size comforter. Um, you know, you saw the laundry I put in there from that. There's no optical illusions here. You saw me compare its size to a standard dryer and a standard washer. So, yeah, uh, it, it works. It works well. It uses very little detergent. It only uses about 10 gallons of water per wash. A standard washer uses 40 gallons. So keep that in mind. You know, if you want to cut down on the water bill, uh, if you're limited space, if you don't have washer hookups and you still need something to do laundry, this is definitely a good idea. And it's... Uh, I mean, it's, it, it feels very well constructed. It's very sturdy. This isn't like some cheap plastic. This is some pretty hard stuff. Uh, so I'm very pleased with it. Uh, in, I'll tell you what. I'll come back in a year and do another uh, review in, in that time. And we'll see how she's still run, running, okay? But uh, now there is an English, or at least American English, so, you know, uh, 
bad English uh, review of this washer that A, isn't in Spanish, and B, is not put out by the company that made it, C, is put out by someone who is a cheap bastard who is actually not in any way endorsed or paid by this company, but it is a company I do regard very highly. Um, so, just something to keep in mind. Hopefully you found this uh, review uh, informative. I mean, as always, approach with skepticism. Approach everything with skepticism. But uh, I just wanted to put my view out there. So hopefully you found this informative. Uh, thanks so much for your time, uh, and I'll holler at you later. I apologize. I apologize for the jump cut. But so many of you are wondering and have asked, Will it, in fact, actually wash a queen-size comforter? Well, guess what I have? I have a queen-size comforter. So... Let's take the queen-sized comforter and put it into the washer. Not only does it fit, there's room to spare. So yes, it will in fact wash a queen-sized comforter and maybe a pillowcase. There is room to spare, just not that much room, but it will in fact hold a queen size comforter. Neat, huh? So, there you have it. That's about all I can tell you about uh, the Niagara washer. Uh, it washes clothes, it washes comforters, it does so easily, it does so efficiently, and it does so quite well. And I, uh, as usual with uh, any product from the Laundry Alternative that I've purchased, I uh, really am quite impressed uh, at the uh, craftsmanship, construction quality, and performance. I mean, for crying out loud. 14 years! The spin dryer has been running for 14 years, and it's still working. Granted, I'm still sorely tempted to purchase their Ninja spin dryer, so that I don't have to worry as much about evenly distributing clothes in the spin dryer, but that is a matter of 15 seconds worth of work, so we'll see. I don't know. Uh, uh, the original laundry alternative, Wonder Wash, 14 years later, still working. The Niagara is... Uh, it's awesome. I love it. I absolutely love this machine. So, there you have it. Oh, you want you want to see me close it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, you put that end down. And I will say this. Uh, when it finishes, sometimes it doesn't finish with the drum lid up. Sometimes you'll wind up in a situation like this. That's the uh, lint trap, by the way. It's not that hard. You literally just spin it to the top and then just like that it's not that difficult so yeah um if you were wondering it can in fact wash all queen sized comforter so there you go i uh, hope you found this informative uh, feel free to watch any of my other videos. Uh, generally, I'm not a review channel, although when I find something that doesn't have a lot of reviews and I have something that hasn't been reviewed, I review it. But most of my videos are me telling crappy jokes that are not in the least bit funny and involve me drinking copious amounts of alcohol. Uh, if you're wondering if I've had copious amounts of alcohol prior to this shooting, uh, the answer is... Thank you.